and welcome to a Smurf P video and today we are looking at Marauders issue 21 and that's right we are at event time and this is the Hellfire Gala um, event um, which is the event of the year uh, and it uh, gives you this little invitation which I think is very very nice and this is about celebrating mutant culture and strengthening Strengthening Krakow's friendship with the nations of man, which I think is um, very, very good. And um, it speaks out for uh, minorities uh, across the world, in the real world. Um, it's about celebrating um, our diversity, our differences, and who we are. Allowing us to be who we are. And mutants are, are doing that now, whereas before... Um, They've always had prejudice against them. Now they're saying, we are here. You're going to celebrate us, sort of thing. So, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, and we get, so we got Emma, Sebastian Shore, and Kitty Pride. And uh, Emma's got an interest in X there on her, um, on her outfit. And this is a party to end all parties. And X Force say we're in position from a security perspective, and the heroes are invited to come along. So we have Tempo, and she uh, gives Captain America and all the other heroes a flower. And this flower will allow them to attend the parties and go to any after parties and all that good stuff. Even though um, Steve says, Well, I'm not really the after party sort of person. Uh, Fantastic Four come in. As well, which is nice because you remember at in Dawn of X they had a run in with the the nation of Krakow because um, they wanted. So sorry about that. So you remember there was um, a little bit of friction between uh, Fantastic Four because they wanted um, Franklin to join their ranks as uh, a mutant, and um, Fantastic Four obviously didn't agree with that. Uh, eventually, uh, Franklin went back home. Uh, Iron Man flies to the island and he makes a big show. Oh, I've got side damage. I bet you're wondering where I get that. He says, no, he's wondering where you... He, he, Quentin does a Quentin thing. I'm wondering where your uh, flower is, you old fart. And also, we've got a delicate ecosystem. Other delicates come from a uh, United Nation, Russia, Mandrapur. We've also got Jonah in there by looks fit. And AIM. Somebody from AIM and Dr. Strange arrives as well. And um, there is a moment here between uh, Mr. Fantastic where he says something to Professor Xavier. Uh, we don't know what that is, and I'm sure we'll find that out at some point in the future. Uh, Emma starts speaking to everybody telepathically, and B says, we're never doing this again. She's already got our script. So there's, it, it almost feels like it's, it's an event, uh, a party, um, lots of little banter between uh, characters. Uh, Emma's running the show. She's brought in this character called Res, Respiratu, Raspberry. Oh, goodness, sorry, I could not say that. And um, why she does the playing with her talents. And she says everything that they're doing tonight, every food you eat, Every sound you hear, every firework that goes up, this is mutant power giving their gifts, sharing their gifts. And uh, the telepaths uh, sh obviously uh, connect with all, all the guests and they make them join in and play as well. And we got these little butterflies flying around, which is which is really nice. Um, some are saying it's a cheap stunt, some are saying it's astonishing. Dr. Doom was in phase and sentimental rube. Uh, so to speak, uh, there's some games going on, as you can imagine from the old card games that uh, Ben Grimm does. Uh, he wants to get in on the action and, and do some gambling. It's nice to see Sean and Emma having a little little chat, although he um, she thinks he's bringing bad news. She says, not tonight. Um, so I wonder what that's about. And like I said, the only uh, book that I read is X-Men, so... Maybe I've missed something that I don't know about something, probably. Uh, and, and perhaps those that, that are watching this, you probably know more than I do on that. Uh, Steve and Dr. Doom are having a well-oiled staring contest. And um, 
and Frost goes to sort of defuse that. He said, and he basically, Steve just says, well, it's just a state affair like every other state affair that I've been in, except this one's pretty, a little bit more magical. Uh, and uh, Emma uh, sort of, not questions, but she sort of says, Latavia, or, you know, you should be part of, part of this u union with us. Um, you've accomplished so much as a man. And he, he takes it as you, you're saying that I'm almost less than a man, the way that she says it. We also get the Shi'ar turn up. Oh, and there's also a little thing here where they say, you know what, you've, you've conquered mankind. And she says, no, we've not conquered mankind. And then the Shi'ar come in and says, on behalf of the Shi'ar Empire, we would like to congratulate Mutant Dom for conquering their home planet. <laughs> so well, I found that quite hilarious. Um, the, also, the Shi'ar have a gift, and uh, Emma Frost uh, asks her brother Christian to go deal with that, which, uh, once again, another little weird secret, which I'm sure will come out in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, there are also some deals going on. Uh, so uh, they're asked to bring up the tide, and we got the Young Hellfire Club from Wolverines and the X Men, which were a lot of fun. I love those guys, um, and they make her remember. I'm not sure what they make her remember, and I can't remember what she's forgotten. So that's interesting. I either I forgotten saying, or oh, she's forgotten saying, but something is coming. I can tell you. We also get a a nice moment here with Guardian and Northstar. I like the fact that he he and Kyle were are still together and married. We I, I can't remember seeing them much since that Astonishing X Men run. So it's nice to see them again. Um, Emma has a moment saying, you know, the way Steve was looking at me, it, looked, it was almost like he he sort of fancied me. And then she learns that he reminds her of her mother, who was born at the turn of the century. That's funny. Funny ha-ha. Uh, anyway, uh, she has... Um... Did I even read this page? Anyway, um, she, she gives a little toast to her inner team before her Hellfire team before going back out there. And... Um, they're going to bring the entire world together. And it's issue 21. You're accordingly invited to the Hellfire Gallery. Written by Jerry Dugan. Artist is Matteo. Ega is the color artist. VC's Corey Petit is on the letterer. And Tom Moore is on the design. Over here you got the cast. We've already read the cast already. And then we just get this kind of ending. Where um, we've got some of the ambassadors... Uh, getting it off. We've got some, some nice moments about Emma's new new outfit that she's changed into where she's basically diamond. She's got to see through shingles, whatever that is. Um, and there you feel things changed. Um, Dr. Strange needs to go off in Gavry's forts after hearing this announcement. Captain America asks Cyclops, she says, you know, did you know about this when we met a few days ago? He said, well, not for certain, but he had an inkling. He says, well, you've solved one big problem. He's worried that you've made a bigger mess. He hopes that they know what they're doing. We're going to see the Avengers versus X-Men again? <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, anyway, um, he hopes that they know what they're doing. So we do not know what this announcement is, which is um, uh, a brilliant way to start this Hellfire Gallery issue. And I was... Uh, next, it's dinner is served. It does sort of edge towards me. I kind of feel towards the X of Swords where there was a lot of dialogue and, and milling around, etc. Uh, but this has been fun. It's set in the scene. And I hope we find out what that announcement was on the next issue. Uh, and in my issue, it has uh, a tale of a Hellfire Geller of the past. So um, it has uh, an old tale. Um, I'm... Uh, this must have been just before the Phoenix, maybe? I cannot even remember reading this. Uh, I'm trying to see what issue it refers to. Uh, it says next Phoenix, so... Do you know what? Maybe this was in the X-Men Classics. 
Um, I'm going to go look that up as soon as I'm done recording this. Um, definitely going to do that. And we got this nice uh, infight here, which I do like. I do like it a lot. I think it's very cool. So a good opening issue. I'm, I've got the, the next two issues that were released uh, in the last week. So I'm certainly going to be... Um, Serving them on a plate, no pun intended. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out my Target 1000 video where at present I'm doing a giveaway for uh, the Marvel free pack with uh, Nimrod, Psylocke, and Phantom X. And most importantly, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Cyclops Smurd. I'm on Twitter at SmurdP. No idea what I'm doing there. I've also got a page on Facebook, Smurd P. And embrace the geekiness. Thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.